r slash ask reddit. What's the worst coworker you've ever worked with? My coworker likes to initiate conversations, then does long pauses, where you go to say something back, then he cuts you off and keeps talking. He has entire conversations almost entirely by himself. He also likes to make changes to my paperwork before it's turned in. Ends up riddled with spelling mistakes, while he tries to make the content look smarter. Fortunately it's all electronically stamped with who made revisions. My boyfriend does that weird conversation thing. Sometimes I just, try to, talk over him. Sometimes I leave the room. He still doesn't know what I'm talking about when I bring it up. My current suspicion is he's formulating the next sentence during that pause. Either way it drives his mum and me insane. I had a manager once who dumped trash on my desk my third day there. She said it was to remind me that taking out the trash was part of my job description. It wasn't. I was a research assistant at a mortgage firm. Whoa. Had this same situation. We had a full maintenance crew, but my department had previously helped with parking lot trash until our hours were cut, which was discussed and mandated from corporate. The top guy for our location came in extra early, picked up the parking lot trash, and dumped it on my desk. Then he berated all of the managers in front of everyone for my department. Just the tip of the iceberg, though. Worked with a girl who would sometimes just lay in the floor and play on her phone. She would routinely flip out about something her boyfriend did and just start screaming curse words, sometimes in front of customers. She was eventually fired for smoking, we dwell on the clock. Fast food. Third shift. The only other employee stayed in the bathroom doing blow. How the hell do you afford coke on a fast food paycheck? You sell drugs to cover most of your living costs via cash, then pay essential bills with your legit income. I worked in a law office with a secretary who refused to do anything, because she didn't know how. She couldn't do documents in Word, scan or use the billing software, and refused to learn. In a crunch she would take things home for her grandson to do. Somehow she was hired on full time, after being a contractor. When she was hourly she called in sick, so she could just work enough to keep her Medicaid and government benefits. I worked somewhere in the last 3 years where they hired a secretary who refused to use a computer. I couldn't believe it, in this day and age. No contest. It was the literal crackhead I worked with for 4 months, that was also secretly living in the office, and being completely nonsensical, when he was actually working. We found a mattress folded up in the warehouse, after he was let, go and an actual, brand new crack pipe, with a price tag on it, to boot, scurled away back there. He and his family, not just him living in the office, left discarded food everywhere like pizza crusts in the toilet brush holder in the bathroom, what even, and they left hair in the sink in the bathroom as they were obviously bathing in there too, as we had no actual bathing facilities in the office. One day during his tenure, he sent an email saying his alarm didn't go off, and he'd be in at X time, which kept getting moved back later and later. He eventually showed up at 4.40pm and we closed at 5pm, lol. Not necessarily a co-worker, but my old supervisor literally told me not to think, even if it's wrong, that I do things her way, and not to ask questions, because I should already know what to do. I had just gotten the position. Hired a cook on a good recommendation. He was just fine the first two weeks. Then I noticed food going missing. Then supplies started going missing. Then a customer told me that he had been adding auto 30% tips as food purchases. When I looked at the books, I saw that he had been adding 30% tips to all the credit card sales and the cash rings were off from what should have been sold. I fired him that day. The next day he came in and apologized. Said he was on drugs and was going to rehab. I wished him well. Then next day he tried to break in after close and was caught. Idiot. Me reading your comment, I hired a cook. Oh this is going to be about drugs. 
My worst co-worker was one I worked with when I was a cashier at Walmart. She approached me and asked me to cash out her paycheck. I was still new at the job and never got training on how to do that function. She was sympathetic, so she walked me through how to do it. Transaction over and done, I go on about my day. I get called back a couple of days later by my managers and they circled me in an office and accused me of stealing. After tears, videotapes, and telling them what happened they told me that apparently this cowker of mine had stolen not only from me, but several other people that day as well. They just wanted to confirm I wasn't in on the deal. This is about 15 years ago, but the office I worked in instituted a scent free policy. One woman, who was already insufferable, was so offended by it that she snuck in her perfume collection. She'd walk down the halls and spray perfume into empty offices or cubicles when no one was looking, or before everyone arrived in the morning. This went on for well over a month or two, and we had no idea who was responsible. My coworkers and I started referring to this mysterious person as the channel bandit. She was finally caught on camera in the act. She'd left for 3 weeks vacation, and was unaware that we had installed cameras after a break in. Some of us already suspected her, as the channel bandit mysteriously stopped spraying while she was away. She quit right after she was caught. None of us were sad to see that Cedar scented psycho leave. He would walk in every day like it was his first day with no memory of anything we showed him the previous day. He was only focused for the first 30 minutes then the rest of the time would be on his phone and try to work with one hand which is bad because I work in a restaurant. Can't cook with one hand, but that didn't stop him from trying. Then one day he just stopped showing up for like a week then was confused when he came back and was fired. Edit, I'm not sure if he had memory issues or anything like that, at least he didn't tell us or the owner. He did however like to talk about how easy our job was, because he'd had 4 other restaurant jobs before this one. He was only 19, but we didn't make him do anything complicated, but he would forget easy things like where we kept burger buns, or where buttons were on the register. Also he always left trash laying around, after he was done with a job it would be me and my other coworkers who cleaned up after him, and his excuse was always that he didn't think it mattered because it was gonna get cleaned up eventually. He still comes in every once in a while to watch our TV, sometimes with friends, and sometimes by himself, he never buys anything but he just does it quietly so no one bothers him. I had a packager operator I worked with on the machine I run. He did okay, but every Monday I would have to basically retrain him on the packager controls. I guess he had an excuse or because he had a TBI from a motorcycle wreck years before. Once I jogged his memory he did good for the rest of the week. This guy named Daniel I used to work with at McDonald's in high school. He let everyone know he worked out and enjoyed being on the football team. He had this thing about taking 5 poop sessions a day. He would walk by on his way back from the toilet, chest out, shoulders back and triumphantly announce, that's poop number 3. Ducking Daniel. His name was Dan. Dan was 37 working at a dead end job as a lab specimen processor in a windowless room for 9 hours a day. He ate only Burger King, but without the lettuce, because that's rabbit food. He drank literally a gallon of Mountain Dew a day, and was confused as to why people were horrified by that. There's water in it, he would say. Apparently if he ate corn he would vomit, and have to go to the hospital. He would tell me he firmly believed, that man and dinosaur roamed the earth at the same time, along with many other theories, that came from his gut. One day we got into a political argument before the 2016 election where he said, if Bernie Sanders is elected president, there will be a civil war, and I will not hesitate to kill you and your family. Dan was fired. I got out of there, as soon as I could. Don't be like Dan. With that but, I wouldn't trust anything that comes from his gut. Ah yes, threatening to murder your coworkers in a hypothetical civil war. Excellent office conversation. No HR department is ever gonna take issue with that. 
I worked with a guy who'd interrupt any conversation to talk about anything, as if he was the expert. And I don't use anything as a hyperbole. He truly had something to say about anything, including things he had never heard of or obviously didn't know much about. When the subject being discussed was something in the category of things he didn't know much about, he would slowly steer the conversation away from the original discussion to something he would like to talk about at the moment. It was both amazing and the most annoying thing I had ever had to deal with. Everybody else was way too polite and against conflict to say anything, including me, so most people just tried to stay away from him, but he'd follow people around. I eventually left, but I even remember having a nightmare where he was the best man at my wedding. He just wouldn't work. Just wouldn't. This was in a research lab. He was a visiting researcher from another country, and he spent a lot of time asking tons of non-work related questions, to the point of disrupting others' work. In the course of a year, he designed one very basic experiment, and didn't actually do it. Just designed it. He was above doing bench work apparently. He picked fights with everyone doing any experiment related to the one he was planning, because he didn't want to have to share credit for anyone. He wouldn't clean up after himself, wouldn't pick up things from the floor. He actually called me in from another room, because he wouldn't take a string lest he bag out of his mug. Also on a different occasion, because he'd knocked some things off a hanger on the back of the door, and for whatever reason wouldn't pick them up. It was kind of like working with a child. He must have had servants where he lived. I don't know how, but he was there for his PhD. Boss fired him. He was one of two people in her 30 plus year career that she'd ever fired. At my first job, vet assistant at a small animal clinic, there was this middle aged woman. She primarily worked as the receptionist, who was constantly snarky and rude towards me and my work. After sharing with another Kaoka that I was planning to go to school to become a vet, she, the receptionist, laughed at me and said, I don't think I could see you as a vet. I was only 16 years old, mind you, I had big dreams and goals, and I was taking solid steps towards achieving them. I remember standing there, taken aback, and honestly holding back tears or any indication that I was upset. I was accepted to vet school at age 18, and I'm still in school actively pursuing that dream. Guess I'm gonna prove her wrong, 